Today's adventure begins here at Epcot. A little bit of holiday traffic pulling in. Gonna do some park hopping today for the holidays. Getting here at Rope Drop, First Park, Epcot Center. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Enjoy the park, guys. Thank you. Oh, yes. There is that beacon, Spaceship Earth. As a recording of this, Monday, December 18th, 2023. The holidays are full of holiday crowds. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. My sister's here as well. When was the last time that you went to Walt Disney World, spent the day going on rides and attractions and things? It has been a few years. I honestly do not know how long ago it was. You haven't been on Tron? Nope. You've been on Guardians? Nope. You've been on Guardians? We're going to park hop, start off here at Epcot, then we're going to go to Magic Kingdom. I have booked us a lightning lane for Guardians, for Tron, and then Ratatouille. We haven't done Ratatouille either. I think the last time I came, uh, Frozen had just opened because we had a ro we got here a rope drop, we booked it all the way over there, and we got on Frozen. Okay, look at you using a, a Disney term, rope drop. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heading in, I'm inviting you to join me and my sister for a full park hopping day during the holidays at Walt Disney World. Shall you? I will. <laughs> you will? So I got us Lightning Lane, the regular Lightning Lane, but then I also did the individual Lightning Lane. You have to pay individual for, for Guardians and Tron. But some of the Lightning Lanes is we're going to try to park hop at like 2 or 3 over to Magic Kingdom. Frozen wasn't until 7, so we didn't get locked into Frozen. We didn't get into locked into Ratatouille, which the first lightning lane fast pass would be like 6 or 7 at night. So we might have to do standby for Ratatouille, but we're going to do, do some things that my sister's never done before. So it's going to be kind of, kind of a fun day. We should probably get coffee. We should probably start off with some coffee. Want coffee? Sounds good. Now everyone's heading in using the coffee hack. There's only two people over here at Joffrey's because Starbucks is going to be busy inside. So we're going to do the outside the park Joffrey's coffee hack instead of going in the park and waiting an hour at Starbucks. I can hear the monorail beam. Oh, that was correct. I didn't even see it and I knew it was coming in because I could hear the monorail beam shaking a little bit right here underneath Joffrey's. All right, we made it in. You can kind of see the reflection of Spaceship Earth in the reflection here. I have a photo of my mom, my sister, and myself. Of course, my mom didn't tag along today, but my sister and I are here and we're sitting or we were sitting way back, I don't even know what year that would have been. Probably early 90s, 91, probably 91-ish. Right here along the along the fountain in front of Spaceship Earth. And that's the angle right about there. The monorail beam lines up and everything. I can't tell if it plays different musical notes with each water. Like, is this a different note yeah, than that note? This is a lower note. So maybe it does go all the way up. Yeah, different. All right, walk through the waterfall. Don't, just keep going. There you go. It opens up for you, see? Look at that. Ooh, nice. We got it going good, all of us lined up here. Big full row on all the little water spots here. Perfect. All right, entering into Nemo and Friends. There's noticing here on the tip board some of the times through here. So most of the stuff in Future World is pretty much a walk-on. But look, the Genie Plus Lightning Lane for Ratatouille, even at 9.45 a.m., already booked up. So they get us a Lightning Lane for Soren at 10.35. So I was able to, to snag that. And also the two paid Lightning Lanes for Tron and Guardians a little bit later. Yeah, Soren over California, even though this is Florida, is at Epcot right now, which is nice. We have gotten inside the clamshell. Hopefully later we get to Magic Kingdom, we can ride the Little Mermaid attraction, which has a clamshell similar to this as well, similar to the Nemo ride here. Yeah, I think I prefer this Nemo attraction over the one at Disneyland, which was the former 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I kind of kind of like this style a little bit better with the clamshells. Are you counting how many times I've said the word clamshell? <laughs> Seven. Just got off the ride. In fact, the ride track is right down there looking into the aquarium. It goes right along the edge right there, and you see all these fish. And then they have the, anim the uh, animations layered in looking in towards the ride vehicle. Check that. He's just like, which one was that one? The cute one. Is that Lou or Little Jack? Isn't the backstory on mermaids that originally like sailors thought that these were mermaids? I think that's like originally they thought like manatees that were in the sea were mermaids. People call them chubby mermaids. 
they call him Chubby Mermaid? Oh, on t-shirts and stuff. All right, we're in the line for to see Figment and Journey to Imagination, but this says, Profess remember what Professor Wayne Zielinski was from? Yes, it was uh, that guy right up there in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It was Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. How many times did we watch that movie growing up? I think an uncountable number of times. An uncountable number. We were also discussing how Honey, I Shrunk the Movie had the Roger Rabbit short tummy trouble before it. It is now time for our lightning lane for Soren now taking flight. Soren over California version here in Florida. Okay, we're on the first row, which means we're going to be on the lowest tier. So you got one, two, three. You didn't know you were going to go all the way to Florida to fly over California, did you? I think I didn't. Okay, so this is the version they have at Disney California Adventure. They brought it here. They have a copy of the version. It's kind of a limited run. Okay. And this is the non-CGI version. So the other one, for the other store in the newer version, there's like a lot of CGI effects. So this is more like kind of real time. They actually take the, the helicopters and the planes up and get the, the angles and stuff. I prefer this version over the other version. Some people like the newer version. All right, just finished up on Soarin'. Now gonna go up top of the Image Works, up to the DVC Lounge real quick, and just relax and come up with a game plan of other things to do. All right, this is pretty cool. They got brand new furniture and new chairs up here within the last couple of weeks. So this is all new, new area right here. Little charging ports there, which they had the charging ports before, but cast member just said, you notice anything new? I go, oh yeah, new furniture. I'm gonna go with a zero sugar cherry limeade. What are you gonna get? Sprite. Go with the Sprite. All right, we're noticing the new tables are not plugged in to charge the phone. So you're trying to charge your phone, but the, it's not plugged in. But we're consuming a little snacks here with the Lay's. Also, ended up booking a reservation for the sushi place because my sister likes sushi just like I do. So we're gonna get some sushi a little later over in Japan. Right, it's 11.22 right now, and I'm kind of checking to see if any of the Disney Plus has popped up for test track. Nothing. It's a 105 minute wait. We could try to do single rider and get lucky and maybe get seated together. But then also up here at Remy's Ratatouille Adventure at 11.23 a.m. is 85 minutes, no lightning lane offered. So even they purchase the lightning lane, they go so, so quick during the holiday season, they're usually booked up just like right after you know, right after opening within like an hour. All right, we walk back there in hopes to see maybe if it's not too long of a standby line, because again, all the fast passes were booked up already very quickly for Ratatouille, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. But it said it was a 90 minute wait. So we'll kind of walk back there and kind of confirm that as well. Yeah, the fast passes and the Genie Plus go really, really, really quick during the busy times. So. Yes, and it is a true hour and a half wait over there. So I think we're gonna opt out of this one. I was trying to get all the stuff that she hadn't done, but sometimes during the holidays, even with the front of the line fast pass that you purchase, it doesn't really work out that way when you're park hopping. But either way. We got, a, we, got a, we got a photo. We got a good photo over here with the cast member. All right, there's the photo. So what you can basically do is just look at this until the next time you're in town. <laughs> so we'll do some stuff you hadn't done. The next time, we'll book this first and foremost. Okay. Because evidently, you can't do everything in one day. Do everything in one day. <laughs> All right, so right around the corner is a Beauty and the Beast sing-along. I mentioned to you that I didn't think it was that good. So I want you to get, I want, we're going to go in and watch it. I want you to give your opinion after the fact on whether it is a good sing-along for one of my favorite, one of your favorite Disney movies. Okay. We're going to go do the Beauty and the Beast <laughs> sing-along and tell me a scale of one to 10, how you rate it. I rate it like a two. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see what you, let's go through here. We'll go through the arcade and then head in. Now the Frozen sing-along at Hollywood Studios is amazing. I would not classify this one. I think they kind of dropped the ball on this one, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll give it, get a different opinion. In a moment, you're about to do the Beauty and the Beast sing along. Right before that, if you want to exit during the show, the exit is going to be on your left side over there. Please try not to use your cell phones, no flash and no photography allowed. Merci. All right, you got to turn the camera off. See you after. Welcome back, everyone. Before you go, make sure you play it all. Do you love it? It wasn't a two. I would put it okay. like a five. A scale, a five out of ten. Okay. Yeah, it had the, the main key song. There was a couple that was missing, and storyline was not the funniest. Thing. Yeah, they had LeFou was like the matchmaker love interest. In yes, that was not. 
weird. Yeah, it was weird. It started off with the little town, it's a quiet village, and then before it gets into the chorus, yeah, it, was about the, it just stops. There goes the baker, and I was singing to nothing because the song yeah. got cut off. They did show most, they did do most of Be Our Guest, which was cool. What was the other main song? Uh, when they're in the garden, she didn't shut her ass. Yeah. Bye, Paul. That part. So that was neat, but then the whole part with the riot song, yeah, they there's nothing, out. it's just the Kill the Bees part, no song. Yeah. Kill you. It was okay. But it could have been way better. Gaston could have been singing more, I guess. No gas. I need. I need more Gaston. <laughs> Five out of ten. Five. I, I still think uh, it wasn't as bad as I remember, but it definitely was not good. Would you see it again? Oh. <laughs> All right, we've made it over to Japan, so we're gonna see. It's about ten minutes till our reservation for the sushi place. Sushi place, which is located right up here. We're gonna see if we can go ahead and go in. This is a good view across. So this building here is Guardians. We have a lightning lane at like 2.30 for that. But they made it look like it's like the same color as the sky to blend in. White? Well, it's kind of like a, yeah, but it's like a lighter light blue to make it look like the sky color. You know what's interesting though? I feel like maybe it had a different name at one point. The layout in here is a little bit different than it used to be. We set it right over there by that window. What if we could get a window seat? We should ask for a window seat. We might not be able to get one, we never know. All right, pretty awesome. We have a window table. Also, this used to be called Tokyo Dining, and now they have changed the name into something else. So I have not eaten here since they changed the name back whenever that was. I got a window. I've never sat at a window table here either. That's awesome. Also got a little miso soup, and this is a snow crab California roll. And you ended up getting something that looks very impressive. What all's in there? Tuna, salmon, eel tail. Okay. I can't remember what she said. Yeah. Spicy tuna or something. Something here. Yeah. And then the egg thing. A lot of good somethings down in there. <laughs> that looks amazing though when she Those brought it in. Tempura. So I got this and I also got a Philadelphia roll. So this is the Philly roll. I don't remember what it has a technical name for it. That's the Golden Philadelphia. The Golden Philadelphia roll, which obviously you can have share some of this as yeah. well, even though you have quite a bit over there. But. All right, finish up the sushi. Now heading over to Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, this is the single rider line for Test Track. All right, I was incorrect. That was the Lightning Lane line. This is the single rider line. We're gonna opt for single rider and just get through this before we get on Guardian. See you at the end. Saved us about an hour waiting in yeah. line by riding sink. What'd you think? Fine. I'll just leave the really fast part. We got a little sample before Guardians. Yeah. Now it's Guardian time. We thought about waiting in the line or riding together, but it's a lot. It saves you like an hour, over an hour, probably 90 minutes it saved us to not wait in that line. All right, it's time. Curious to see what song we're gonna get. Six different songs. I like I ran in one way or another. Not one way or another. I like I ran and everybody wants to rule the world. I think I got I think I've gotten I ran more than any of the other ones. So it'd be nice to get everybody wants to rule the world again. But there's four others. So those are the two of those are two of my favorites. Alright, we have been designated road number five. So we're halfway in the middle. There are ten rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, it's happening. How you feel afterwards? All right. <laughs> Hold on tight. Okay. Oh man. What was your first impression? Really cool. Do you like it? Yeah. It's like you're weightless on that thing, right? It was really awesome. <laughs> I was expecting it to be like turning. Did you get motion sickness at all? Yeah. You did good. All right, that turned up. Where'd you end up? What'd you think? It was really fun. Yeah, you ended time. up getting the same first song I got, which is "Everybody Wants to Rule the World" by Tears for Fears. So we both got the same first song, the first time I ever wrote it. It was really fun. I, I look it. really excited. You look very confused. <laughs> All right, now heading out, that is going to be the monorail we're going to catch. It looks like monorail gold. It's going to loop around Spaceship Earth. It's going to end up going around that, then heading up to the monorail station. So we're going to run up there, or not run, but walk gracefully and catch it over TTC and then the Magic Kingdom for some park hops.
Magic Kingdom. Got a couple lightning lanes, one for Little Mermaid and one for Tron. All right, made our way over now to the People Mover and gonna take a little loop around Tomorrowland on the People Mover. And after that, we got a Fast Pass lightning lane for Little Mermaid. Going up, up, up the ramp. So basically, you see the roof now. And then up here, the People Mover. Oh, stuck on the People Mover inside Space Mountain. You can kind of see there, that's like exit ends of Tron. It's back around that way. And over that way, looks like the light on. Down over there, Space Mountain. Hear the screaming. Up, the lights are on. Ooh. We might go through Space Mountain and see what the lights are. The track, I mean. What is that thing? Yeah, but once they turn the lights on, they usually don't turn them back off for a while, so we might go through and see the track. Maybe. I do that all the time. Dang, they heard me. Guys, you got the camera right there, isn't it? I know, I, I shouldn't have been vocal about it. Going into space. Mountain. to Little Mermaid under the sea adventure. Now basically the queue line outside is a lot different than it is at DCA Disney California Adventure, but once you're on the ride itself, it's pretty much a carbon copy, like a mirror image of the one, except the one here in Florida does not has, have Mr. Limpet like the one at DCA does. The so DCA has the Mr. Limpet, the Don Knotts movie, Mr. Limpet has a little Easter egg in the under the sea area. This one does not have that, but other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same, except for like you know, some like black lights, stuff like that. But all the animatronics, from what I can, you know, from what I can tell, are exactly the same. No layout. We have stopped into the little brew house here for some Lafou's brew, frozen Minute Maid apple juice with a hint of toasted marshmallow top with fruit flavored foam. Lafou's brew right down here from Beauty and the Beast. Lafou, the matchmaker. Lafou, who knew? <laughs> Now you're absolutely going to hate the fact that here in Florida, California has them too, paper straws with a frozen drink are the worst thing ever, literally ever created. They last about two seconds. Wow. Check out about the fireplace. You got a photograph here, a painting of the man himself, Gaston. Gaston's chair is over here. Oh, you got to sit in Gaston's chair? Very nice. How's it feel? <laughs> I want a guy like us. He uses antlers in all of his decorating. Yeah, it's almost like a Disney World Magic Kingdom version of a butter beer. Almost like a like a Wizarding World butter beer. A little bit different, but kind of has like a little a lizard, a little uh, butter beer vibe to it, which is the non-alcoholic drink over at Wizarding World, the Harry Potter boat comes. Pretty good. So it tastes exactly like a butter beer, but it kind of has similarities. Do you like it? Oh yeah, it's good. Pretty. Yes, it is certainly very, very busy in the parks today. And then over here is the Haunted Mansion, which has a really, really long line lurking in the shadows of it. And I also just finished up and finally saw the new Haunted Mansion movie, the new, uh, the new one with Owen Wilson and Danny DeVito, Jamie Lee Curtis. I didn't love it. I don't, I don't know if I say I disliked it. I'm just kind of, kind of impartial on it. It was okay. All right, I'm walking over here to the restrooms by the former Splash Mountain, now Tiana's Bayou Adventure, soon to be Tiana's Bayou Adventure, coming soon. Look at this, they've started on the walkway. Construction update through here. This is all part of the new walkway that's gonna lead into Tiana's right there. There is the, the mural up there. And here's where the entrance to Splash was. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks pretty good. All right here, leading in. They've already started to partially open it. It's cool. New railing and everything. Yeah, new railing, all that. Pretty neat. Interested to see what the future holds. 
All right, heading back out. We gotta start making our way over now to Tomorrowland where we're gonna ride Tron. Tron, at night. I've ridden this during the day and I've ridden it at night and I definitely say the nighttime is the best time. Oh, they got some screamers on there. Yes. Oh, it looks like they got the walls fixed again for a while. This we're not working for here. All right, here we go. Oh, I can hear the fireworks. You can hear the explosion of the fireworks out here right now. Maybe we'll catch the grand finale. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. This might be it right here. This might be the grand finale. Take us the grand finale right here. Here it is. Look over there. Yes. Perfect freaking timing. <laughs> Happily ever after. Yeah, take a look at this bottle next through here. This is a really post fireworks. I try to go over to Frontierland beforehand. And there you got Rapunzel's tower right there. Quite the bottleneck over here next to Memento Mori. Yeah, just trying to waste a little time before heading back to the monorail to go back over TTC and then to Epcot. Because you don't want to exit out right after the fireworks down Main Street. Bubbles. And Jedi's. Yes, because the other way is All right, upon exiting, pretty much realized that the this is like way after. So basically, we're trying to exit the park at 9:30. The fi the fireworks started at 8:30. The fireworks have been stopped for like a good, I don't, know, I don't know, 70 minutes. No, 50, an hour. Let's say an hour. It's a little more than an hour because it's 9:30 and the fireworks started at 8. And then like a 15-minute firework. But basically, I've never seen the line for the monorail so lengthy, backed up, it stretches into the entrance of the front gate of the park. And then also, the ferry boat, the ferry boat that goes across Seven Seas, is incredibly backed up. So I think what we're going to do is try to just take a bus over to Epcot. If we could do that, I think that would save us like probably a good two hours waiting for transportation to get out of here. All right, there was no bus to Epcot, but the bus transportation... They have a lot of the other ones, so basically what we're gonna do is walk over to Contemporary and do the resort monorail loop, TTC, and then back to Epcot, or possibly just take a bus if they have one over at Contemporary Epcot. Okay, the Tron photos came came through. I almost Wazowski, white Mike wazowski you here with the hand, but <laughs> kind of worked out. Yeah. What does also, that mean, Mike wazowski me? In the movie, he gets oh, Wazowski. So every time way. he tries to take a photo, Someone's that got a hand and he gets wazowski <laughs> This one's good here though. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Then we got Sebastian there in the hand there on Little Mermaid. Monorail. Yeah, they got the Christmas lights underneath it. All right, hopefully there is a, uh, a bus over here that goes to Epcot. If not, we gotta go try for the resort loop to TTC and then from TTC to Epcot. It's not easy getting out of Magic Kingdom, ever. Kind of sucks. All right, went up to the upper deck to go up towards the monorail. Now, this is the express monorail. We got to go on the monorail going the other way out of Magic Kingdom. I don't think I've ever stood this far back over by here. Someone's knocking on the window there. They're going to Magic Kingdom. All right, monorail number two, moving up a few feet. I was thinking we could just exit, go down, maybe order a ride share, an Uber over to Epcot. But the problem is, this is only one way up. Okay, yeah, so the line moved up, I don't know, maybe 10 people, because no one's getting off. Everyone's going for Magic Kingdom Transportation Ticket Center, even on the resort monorail, which means this is going to be a while. But there's really no way to exit, because this comes up, the escalator comes up, there's no way to get down that way. You're kind of just stuck here. All right. Going down the escalator, we're gonna go out. I'm gonna order an Uber. We go over to Epcot. Just if not, we should be here sitting here for a while. Down we go. Uber time. All right, we have been dropped off. Made it over to Epcot. In fact, take a look. There's Spaceship Earth right over there. That saved us probably a good hour or more. All right, back at Epcot. Gonna head to my car and then out of here. Long day. Got here at what nine? A little after nine now. What time is it now? No, it's ten ten eighteen. 
So we had a 13 hour, 20 minute day. Yeah. That's gonna do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. That's a good point. It might take a little time getting out of here because this is the backup. Just getting out of the parking lot. It's definitely the holidays. Definitely holidays. not even moving. It's not even moving. I'm trying to wait to our car so we don't get in go that It's not moving.